Now, Britain has condemned Russia after a critic of President Putin, who holds dual Russian-British nationality, was jailed for 25 years. The Foreign Office has summoned Russia's ambassador to the UK over the matter. Vladimir Kara Mirza was convicted on charges of treason and spreading false information about the Russian military in Ukraine. Well, in a statement this morning, the Foreign Secretary, James Cleverly, said Vladimir Kazamova bravely denounced Russia's invasion of Ukraine for what it was, a blatant violation of international law and the UN Charter. Russia's lack of commitment to protecting fundamental human rights, including freedom of expression, is alarming. We continue to urge Russia to adhere to its international obligations, including Vladimir Kaza Mirza's entitlement to proper health care. So who is Vladimir Kara Mirza? Well, he's a 41-year-old historian, journalist and opposition politician who's criticised Russian President Vladimir Putin and the invasion of Ukraine. He holds Russian and British passports, having studied history at Cambridge University. And he was a close associate of Russian opposition figure, Boris Nemtsov, who was assassinated near the Kremlin in 2015. Well, twice in 2015 and 2017, he fell seriously ill in what he alleges were poisonings by the Russian security services. Well, following this story for us, our international correspondent, John Sparks, who joins us now from the newsroom. Uh, and John, what is the wider picture? Why do you think, obviously, aside from the fact that he's an opposition of, of the government, has Russia taken this action? Well, I think there has been a, a collapse in this space, which uh, allows people to express their, their views freely. And essentially, that is what Kara Mirza did. He criticised the invasion of Ukraine. And he has been a long-term opponent of President Putin. But I think the dynamic changed post the invasion in February 2022. New censorship laws were brought in by the Russian government. Tolerance for dissent has basically collapsed in Russia. Russia. And what Karamurza did, very interestingly, was he continued to speak out when many liberal-minded Russians were leaving the country. When they were trying to get out, Kara Moser was going in. He had been recuperating in the United States along with his family for some time after the second of two poisoning attempts, attempts to, to kill him. He blamed the Russian security services. He's a well-known Democrat in that country, although he and his associates in the People's Freedom Party uh, his, other, his other colleagues, pro-Democrats in that country, have really struggled to make any inroads, but he was a voice of opposition. He suffered from two attempts, two poisoning attempts, two attempts to kill him. In 2017, he went to the United States with his family to recuperate. He came back, he continued to criticise uh, the regime. And what the, the Russian government, what President Putin ultimately have done is that they have shut him down. They have shut him up for 25 years. That is, well, it's unprecedented in its harshness, essentially for, for criticising the regime, for criticising the invasion of Ukraine. It certainly sends a message to anybody else in Russia, similarly minded, to speak their mind.